Hello everyone, this is Anton, and today I want to talk about the new firmware that came out just a couple days ago from Supernote for the A6X. So this firmware now um, builds upon one of the other ones that brought in Microsoft Word support. Now you can edit, that's one of the key things here that uh, from the firmware update that I see as significant. And also you now have Bluetooth keyboard support here. Um, so we'll test out both of those um, once I get to the device and we'll watch that in a minute. Some other updates they have here is um, user defined note templates, document cross page digest. Uh, you can change the cloud servers to servers outside of China. The synchronization logic has been optimized. The reply and forwarding functions of the mailbox has been optimized. They've optimized the size of note of the note file itself. They say they've reduced it by 30 to 40 percent. You know, any optimizations are all optimizations are good. So they've added a feature of fine point pen thickness and they have a 0.5 millimeter thickness here pen that we can check out and adjust the file management outlook to view all files and they've also fixed the bug that five pointed stars can be searched after being erased now another part of the update here looks like this here was c.132 and then they added an additional update here for 133 and that was to uh, fix the bug of note coverage problem caused by note page number jump selection so we'll take a look at some of these updates and and see what they look like on a device okay so we're now on the device you can see here we have firmware c.133 and let's go ahead and work with some of the changes here uh, the first change we'll go ahead and check out here is the ability to edit doc files so we have a word doc file here I'm going to go ahead and open that up and before we could not edit this file we can only view it and if we go in you can see now you can edit this file so I can sit here and I can put my name in there and then I can go ahead and save it Go ahead and exit out. Go back into the file and we can see the name is still there. So the file is now editable. Um, you now get this keyboard that pops up when you want to edit the file. Now the other thing on here is that we can set up a keyboard. So I want to go into settings. So if we go into device connection, we'll go into Bluetooth. It's currently off. We're going to go ahead and turn it on. And I have a Bluetooth keyboard here. I'll go ahead and put it in pairing mode. We can now see it pop up. Go ahead and pair it. Follow the instructions here. Okay, so the keyboard is now connected. Let's go into the Word doc that we just had. And I'll actually use the keyboard here. So I'll go back. See, select that. Go back. It is really slow. See, when I hit the back button, and the change, yeah, it's really slow at doing what I'm trying to have it do. So I'm typing and there's nothing happening right now. So it looked like it locked up. Oh, there we go. So it's, it does work, but it's very laggy. This might just be me, uh, my keyboard, but for some, this keyboard does work. I use it on my iPad. 
I've used it. You've seen me do demos with it on the Mac Slomi. And I use it on my MacBook. So the keyboard does work. You know, it did work here fairly, fairly well for the first couple keystrokes. And then now it's pretty much unusable and really, really laggy. I'm typing and still nothing's coming up on the on the screen here. So exit out. Say save. Let's go back into this doc file. Click back into it. Did You can see how slow that is. You could hear when I was hitting the keys from the time that it showed up on the actual device. Okay, so another update we have here is the fine point pin. We now should have an option here for the 0.5 millimeter, and that's there. Go ahead and select that. Um, another one is the user defined themes. So let's go ahead and create a user defined theme. Um, what I'm going to do here is I'll just create, say, a tic-tac-toe. Going across here. And what I'll do here is I'll export this. Export. And you have to export as PNG. I have tried this with PDF, and those PDF is not supported. So export as a PNG. Hit export. It exports to the export folder. Um, I would like it probably if I could select where I save or export the, the file, but SuperNote forces you to all exports to go into that export folder. So we'll confirm that. What we can do here is delete this page. So now the tic-tac-toe type crisscrossing here is gone. And if I go into templates and I go to customization, you can see there is no template. So let's go ahead and get this so that we have a template here that we can select as custom. We'll go to files. We're going to export and we will move this particular PNG into the my style folder. We'll go ahead and confirm that it's moved, confirm that it was moved. And let's go back to the notes. Now I'm in the note. It's blank. We'll go to template. We'll go to customization. And we can now see the, um, the PNG file as a custom template now here. We can see that it has the crisscross. Hopefully that shows up in the video. And if we select that and then hit save, we should get the crisscross the tic-tac-toe here, but as you see, we do not. Um, I have seen that there's a bug, it seems, with the name, and it's probably due to the length of the name, I'm not sure, but I have seen that for some reason, it has an issue with the name. So what I'll do here is, let's go ahead and change this template to use the white template. We'll go back there. Let's go back to that file again. Click and hold and we'll rename this file. So let's go ahead and name this, say 2020. So it could be one of the characters in the, the actual file name. I have not thoroughly vetted through why there's an issue here, but let's go back to the note. And if we go back into the template area, customization, and now if we select that template, it should come up correctly. And it does not. So this brings up another issue with um, something that's going on here, a bug that's going on with the templates, the custom templates. So what it is, is the name that I gave to this file when I renamed it was the name that I used for a previous file when I was testing this out. And as you can see it, this is not the actual 
theme that or a template that I was expecting. Correct. So what we'll do here is let's go ahead and clear this again and set it back to zero or to um, to blank. And let's go back into that file. And what I want to do to the file now is rename it again, but I'm going to rename it to something that I had not used before. So we're going to just put an A at the end of this. We'll hit confirm. And then let's go back into the note and see if that fixes the problem. So we'll go back into the template. Customization. Save. And now we can see that we get the tic-tac-toe. So everything worked as expected here. And if we come in here and we delete that page, we'll see the it stays here, but all the markup disappeared on the page. Okay, another update is that we can change the server location to cloud server location, and that's going to be found under security and privacy. And they have the server location here is China. The only thing they really state in the notes is that you can change it to outside of China. And it looks like you can only change it to the Amazon Japan server here. So if I hit change, it basically gives you a change notice. You can change it and you will not. One thing here says the server location cannot be changed again after confirmation of change here. So I think this is a one way street. If you change it, then it's going to be a permanent change and you won't be able to change it back. So I'm going to leave it the way it is now. I won't change it. OK, so those are all the updates that I'm going to go through in this video. Um, some of the other ones are more optimizations that are sometimes a little bit subject to who's using the device and what your experience is. So I won't get into those. If you found the video useful, go ahead and like it. And if you like the content on the channel, Please subscribe to it. And until the next time, have a good day.